Hello everyone, hope you guys are all doing fine. Today let's talk about Python operators. So in that one, the first one that I want to talk about is logical operators. Logical or Boolean operators. Yeah. Let me switch places here. Okay, give me one sec. All right, Boolean operators. It's marked down, shift enter, yeah. So let me say A is true, B is true, C is false, D is false, yeah. Shift enter, A and B. True, so A and B, true plus true is true. If somebody asks you, okay, I wanna tell you a truth and I also wanna tell you truth, so what do you choose, truth? Uh, truth plus truth is truth. Uh, think of it this way. Um, if you, if it's a bit confusing, think of truth as milk and false as poison. If somebody wants to uh, give you, uh, uh, so truth, or milk or milk. So no matter what you choose, it's milk or milk and milk, right? Um, if you, if I say A and C, that is. A and C is true and false, yeah? So if someone gives you um, milk and poison, that is, you know, mix both of them and give it to you, so what will it become? It's a poison, right? So if anyone makes this false with true or truth, or a lie with the truth, it becomes a lie. I mean, a truth or uh, a true factual statement is something which is completely factual, not like, you know, half truth, Half false is false. And then not A is true. Not A. That means the opposite or negation of truth is false, right? Then I will see not C. What if I do A or uh, B? Or let me do this. True or false. Yeah. If uh, if someone gives you a choice, I want to give I will give you milk or poison. What do you want? You will choose milk or food. So if somebody tells you, okay, I want to tell you a truth, or I want to be true to you, and or I want to give you a false statement, what statement do you want? Obviously, everyone or almost everyone normally generally will choose that. So if it ever confuses you, think of it as uh, someone is telling you a true statement or false statement. And if given a choice between one of them, what will you choose? And if somebody gives both of you, that is and statement together, then what will it become? So let me summarize that with a markdown table here. Here we go. Uh, arithmetic operators. Mm -hmm. And then Arithmetic operators, what are they? 30 plus 3. It is addition operator. Yeah. And then we have 30 minus 3 is subtraction operator. And then we have 3 star 3. That is multiply operator these are mathematical operators 33 by 3 is division operator then we have 34 by 4 or it's floor division actually it's called floor division operator Thirty three percentage sign three is zero. Thirty four percentage percentage sign four again it's called modulus operator and the reminder is two. Three star uh, star star three is exponent operator. Yeah. Twenty seven two star star two is same thing, right? Four.
Okay, here we go. This is a summary of what we did. You have plus, adds, minus, basic mathematics, star, double star, multiply, that's exponent that is a raised to the power of b, b raised, that is a star star b. Then you have regular division and then you have floor division. Floor division, what does it do? Um, 34 by 4, right? Let me go ahead and add here. See here, if I do 34 by 4, what do you get? 8.5. Floor division, what it does is it floors it. It um, gets a whole number out of it. It makes it, if it's um, float, float is a rational, I mean, where you have dot, right? So f it converts a float into a whole integer. Then let's go have comparison. Comparison operator. Yeah. Okay, I have my alarm battery charged marker sound there. One greater than two is is one operator. A uh, one greater, sorry. One greater than two. I'm asking Python. It tells me false because one is not greater than two. One less than two is one less than two. I'm asking Python that and it tells me true. Obviously it is one less than or equal to two. So I'm asking is one less than or equal to two. Yeah. Two greater than one is is two greater than one. True, right? Then two greater than or equal to one is two greater than or equal to one. Yes. Then two equal equals two is is two equal to two. Yes. My other way, if you say is two equal to four minus two. True, right? And then we have 22 not equals to two. I'm gonna say is 22 not equal to two. True, yes, 22 is not equal to two. Basic mathematics, basic sense, common sense. Yeah. All right, then we have identity operators here. Uh, let me make it marked down. What is identity operator? One is one. Yes, it is. One is not one. False, that's a false statement because one is one. If I ask you, Batman is Batman, yes. If I ask you, Batman is Superman, false, right? Let's say A is 11, B is 11, C is 22. And I will say A is B, true. A is 22, false. A is 11, true. 11 is A, true. Then we have 22 is not A. Yeah. So what happens here? Identity operator, description, usage. This is a small table. Is true if two objects are the same. A is B. That means two objects are same. Not like, oh, I'm not saying, okay, similar. They are same. Is not a statement true if two objects are not the same. That is. Two is two, obviously false, because it's integer, it's string. So that also matters. So I'm not saying they're similar, they have to be same. Let's check membership operator. Membership operators, and yeah. A is, Python 
B is one, two, three, four. C is five, six, seven. Then I will use D one, one. 2 2 yeah so a is python right so what i'm going to do here is p in a is p in a yes a is python p is in python or i can also say p in python okay i got to make it string yeah p in python true that is a true statement then i will ask python hey python tell me if y in a is that a true statement true y is a member of a a is python x in a false because a is python and python doesn't have x p not in a one in b yeah is one in b what is b b is one two three four one in b yes that's a true statement one in d yes one in d d is a set as you can see so when i say one or when i ask one in d or when i make a statement one in d it's a true statement because it considers key but if i ask this one in d false even though as you can see it's a value it's not a key so what do you have what you can do here is one in d dot items i guess no when i say items it's key value pair again i just have to say values true because d dot values is this is key this is value d dot values prints out the values here as we went through our previous discussion on sets. Let's do some more. I will say one in D, then I will ask three in D. This is D by the way, it's not there. Then I will say three not in D. Yes, that's a true statement because it is not in D. So, what is membership operator? This is membership operator. Here we go. Let's talk about bitwise operators. Yeah, code markdown. Here we go. One and one. So what I'm doing is, if you know, uh, if you have gone if you are an electronic student or done some bitwise operations you will know what is an and statement or statement nor statement one and one it is one it's not one plus one one and one one and zero that is one one and zero is zero think of it uh, um, and statement as multiply one into one is what here right one in one into zero is what zero right i mean it's not exactly like that but you know here for one and one and one and zero uh, it results the same thing so true and true what happens true true and false true mixed with false what happens that's a that's false that is, let's say true, if somebody is telling you a fact and they mix some false statements in it, the whole thing is false. Three and four, what, zero, yep, three are four, that is, three are four, is seven, and basic r and operations in mathematics then one what i'm saying is not one i'm doing a negation of it 
Well, if it's going above your head, don't worry about it because a regular 90% of the programmers are at least one I know of the people who are in my field are my friends who are in you know, their field. They don't are rarely use bitwise operators. Uh, probably they know it because they just read through it and gone through it. But unless or until you are in that mathematical field, which requires you to know this, or electronics field, which requires you to know this, there you use it. Then I will do a negation of minus two, like this, same thing. So this symbol, that is shift, uh, the number, uh, the key, which is next to one and above tab or below escape key, right? Shift tab, shift that key. That is the negation symbol here. Okay, so if I do negation of true, that is, not true is minus two into false statement that is not false is false three four that is i'm asking four xr perform xr operation of three and four so right shift, uh, let's um, do right shift, okay. Uh, this is right shift four by one. What is right shift four by one, two, one is left shift two by one, yep. Okay, here we go. This is, oops, I already did that. Let me paste my notes here. Okay, so bitwise operator, and or and, sets so each bit to one if both bits are one. That's our statement. Uh, sets each bit to one if one of two bits is one. XR is sets each bit to one if only one of two bits is one, right? So difference is sets each bit to one if one of two bits is one. Here XR is sets each bit to one if only one of two bits is one. The not is just inverts all the bits. That's why it's called bitwise operation. We're talking in bits here. The zero fill left shift, Le shift left by pushing zeros in from the right and let the leftmost bits fall off. This is X, this is Y. It's called a zero fill left shift. Shift left by pushing zeros in from the right. As the arrows suggest here, it's moving to the left and how many ever positions that you are moving it to the left, the right, the places on the right side of it will be filled with zeros. The opposite will happen here. Zero fill right shift. Shift right by pushing zeros in from the right and let the rightmost bits fall off. Okay, assignment operators here, here. All right. What are assignment operators? X is five. Or x is four, x is five, whatever. Equal assignment operator assigning value five to x. Then so as you can see, if I type x, it outputs five. X plus equals three. These are kind of important. We use them often, especially in loops, while loops, you know flow control of a function. Update the value of x by adding three to it. It is a short form of x equals x plus three. Yeah, so if I type now, 
what I can see. So x was 5 here. I did x plus equals 3 and it became 8. So anyway, so now let's do another one. Um, x equals to 5 already. Uh, let me also show you. So x. let me set x equal to 5 again. And I will do x equals x plus 5. And I will print x. Okay, let me do this here x plus 3 I want to do here we go this is 8 this is 8 x the same way you can do minus equals 3 now x is 8 so update the update the value of x by sub subtracting x by x by subtracting from it okay it is a short form of x equals x minus 3 basic mathematics no big thingy so x is 5 now x was 8 here I did minus equals a equals 3 and see what happens so let me reset x equals to 8 and do this way x equals x minus 3 and I'm gonna print out x here it became 5 right then we have x star equals 3 the same way update the value of x by multiplying x to it it is a short form of x equals x star 3 yeah x x equals 15 then x equals 5 yeah let's reset that again x equals x star 3 Then I will print out x. As you can see, it's 15. So again, let's do one more similar. That is, update the value of x by dividing x by 3. Right? That is a short form of x equals x by 3 x is 5.0 let's reset x to 15 x is 15 now now what i'm going to do is x percentage equals 2 so what does it mean update the value of x by the reminder of x by 2 divide x by 2 and set the remainder as the new value of x there you see if you divide 15 by 2 you get 7.5 but if you do if you take the reminder right then this is where it is let's see here one right so that is where it is 15 start so apart from this what else we have oh, okay we missed this x is equals four yeah perform a floor division of x by 4 and set the remainder as the new value of x nothing magical about it there you go let me go ahead and do this again because x was 1 and that was not a great example so let me set x to 5 yeah and then do this 
floor division of 5 by 4 is 1 but if I just do 5 by 4 this is what I get if I do 5 by 4 floor division I get 1 so that is what you see here yeah so this is the same as x equals x by 5 oh, sorry 4 yep then what else we have they have this x star star equals 3 yep what does it update the value of x with an exponential multiplication of x by 3 perform an exponential multiplication of x by 3 and set that value as the new as the new value of x so there you go x x was hmm, i think i should have set x here first five let me do that x equals five so that you will know if i do this as you can see five star star five is that and five star star three is 125 so five raised or five to the power of three is 125 the same as this so basically if x was five and i did x equals um, x star star three and i printed x yep that would have happened there as you can see so then we can also perform bitwise operations here that is x and equals 3 that is do a bitwise and operation of x and 3 and then set the result as the new value of x yep so if you enter x is this yep. x was 125 and i did and operation here so if i do one two five and three i get one yeah the same way we will do a few more x not three do a bitwise r operation of x and okay i think i might want to increase the font here totally forgot about that guys hopefully it was not like too small or something it's still in 1080p though yep i hope it's okay now yep and do a bitwise our operation of x right let me adjust my increase the font here all right x Hmm. X and three and set the result as the new value of X. Yep. That's where it is. So if X, let's say, was one and i do x not oh, sorry r operation equals 3 okay i have to print out x i got 3 Oh, I didn't print X here. Let me print here. Okay, X. Okay, X. 
Hmm. Let me put x equal to maybe three here, right? Or nine. Then I will do this. Print x, x is 11. Yep. I'm gonna put x equal to nine again. X are operation between that is our operation between 9 and 3 and print the result here 11 which is basically again the same as let's say if x was 9 and I'll say x equals x our operation 3 yeah, uh, let me. There you go, eleven. Then we have a bitwise XR operation. Let's say X equals five again. X shift six equals three. Do a bitwise XOR operation of x and 3 and set the result as the new value of x yep 6 as a new value let's do again x equal to 5 again x right shift 2 so what does it mean do a bit wise zero fill right shift it just called right shift most of the times but the actual terminology i recommend you to remember always is zero fill right shift it shifts x to right by two positions and when you do that shifting on the left hand side two positions are empty because you have shifted right so it's going to fill those positions with zero so zero fill right shift and x with two and set the new set the result as the new value of x makes sense there you go then let's do x equal to 5 again x i don't know let's read in the x let's left shift equals 3 yeah that is do a bit wise zero fill left shift on x with three and set the result as the new as the new value of x hmm there you go it gave me eight but let's do it again here x i'm not sure x equals five let's uh i'm redoing this let me take this and i'm gonna print x here yep you got one right so now i'm going to take this one okay x equal now x is one right the value of x is 1. I'm going to take this thing. I'm going to do the reverse of it. It was a when you right shift 5, we got 1. But when we left shift this 1 by 2, will we get 5? Let's see. No. What if I do it by 3? So. Let me take this and I'm going to x equals to 1 here. I'm going to do 3. 
8. So it's not that easy. You know, left, you left shift X by certain positions. And then when you do a right shift, uh, the result with the uh, same position, you will not get the same result. It seems that way, but uh, you won't. Uh, at least mathematically, that is how it is. So assignment operator equals symbol, you know, it assigns a value to a variable plus equals x. You know, this is how we use it, what means. And here is an example or what it means, right? Hmm. Or I think I have to example here and what it means here. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm going to say example what it means. Yeah. There you go. Now this is an example. This is what it actually means. Hmm. Okay, interesting. Here, as you can see, uh, x and symbol, but there is x and 3. But when I do this, you get only this. So, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 from the bottom. 1, 2, 3, 4. Here, this is there, but When I do a markdown, it's not working. Let me try to escape that and see whether I can print it. Yep. Okay, so I use the escape character. That's working. All right, so that's all I, I think that's all I had uh, for operators. If I missed anything, please do let me know. Maybe I will cover that in upcoming um, sessions or maybe in the newer version of Python. So yeah, thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Bye. Take care.